bondage and secrets. You know, in the course of our life, we've had times that we have felt like we needed to keep a secret or secrets. And to keep a secret like, oh, this is a surprise birthday party we're planning and we've got to keep it hush hush, those are the good secrets. We don't always get those secrets. Sometimes the secrets that we hold are secrets that tend to destroy us from the inside out, slowly. And we often will keep a secret, even though it's harming us, to protect somebody's reputation, uh, to help them continue to live a facade. But secrets that we keep, we need to take stock of them. And we need to put them in categories. You know, good secrets and secrets of other people that doesn't harm me in any way, doesn't cost anything. I'm just holding their confidence. They confided in me. And I'm going to keep this secret, and it's theirs to tell. But then you have those secrets that affect you. Those secrets that you keep, like those secrets that tell of your abuse. Those secrets that tell of anything that by you keeping it, tend to destroy you. And it's a lot like gangrene. When a person is diagnosed with gangrene, gangrene is the death of tissue. It limits blood flow to the extremities. And if not caught early, you can lose a limb. And it's one of those things that people kind of deny. You know, they, they see their foot maybe looking a certain color or feeling a certain way, numbness. And they just, you know, convince themselves that it's not what they think. It's not anything bad. But like gangrene, the secrets that we keep that are harmful to us, the ones that make us feel inauthentic, the ones that make us feel like a phony, like we're being fake, those are the ones that we need to consider stopping. We need to consider speaking our truth. And it's not easy, especially when somebody's else's reputation or their facade might get affected. You know, I heard once, I heard somebody say once, that you should tell your story. You should speak your truth. And if people had wanted you to speak warmly about them or to write warmly about them, then they should have behaved better. And that's not on you. That's not on me. You know, we have a right to speak our truth. We have a right to live an authentic life. And for a lot of us, we've kept these secrets for so long that we don't even know that it's possible to be free from it. We think that this bondage that we fear that we feel is a perpetual bondage. And if we choose to continue to keep the secret, it is. It is indeed a bondage. And I don't know about you, but I don't like to be bound. I don't like to be imprisoned by a secret that I'm keeping that's destroying me from the inside out. And, you know, with divulging a secret with speaking your truth 
you don't have to shout it from the rooftops. You can. You can. And if you're strong enough and when you're strong enough, you should. But you can just tell one person. Just tell one person your truth. You'll feel lighter. You'll feel like you can be who you really are. And there's a liberty in that. And it stops the, the dying from the inside out. And unlike gangrene, us speaking the truth actually breathes life back into us. It actually heals us from the inside out. So think about the secrets that you're keeping and why and if you should and who you should tell your secrets to. Think about it. It's healing. <laughs>